electronics so in this video we are going to see about the Indian Navy selection process so there is a recruitment happening for Indian Navy for various SSB categories mainly all engineering branches are eligible and also uh, MA, MCOM, MCA all these branches they are recruiting okay so there is actually a lot of openings and the recruitment video is already posted in this channel so in this video we are going to see about the selection process so the selection is mainly happening through SSB interview we'll be seeing what all things are going to happen in the SSB interview and also I was receiving a lot of doubts regarding uh, various things uh, in the comment session I tried to answer some of the doubts in this video okay so the first doubt was regarding what is SSC it is short service commission okay SSC is short service commission and it will be for maximum up to 14 years okay so that is the case for SSC it is not for two or three years it will be up to 14 years so that was one doubt next is regarding the courses that is this recruitment is actually for three courses the various categories will be included in these three courses and only if you successfully complete the course you will be absorbed into Indian Navy okay so that is the recruitment process and there are three courses they are uh, offering and it will start from June 2021 onwards so the courses are first one is extended naval orientation course it is for general service category then second course is naval orientation course regular third one is special NOC so the all categories will be divided amongst three three of these courses okay so you have to attend the course only if you successfully complete the course you will be absorbed so that is the case then as I have told the course will start from June 2021 onwards and the location is Mala, Kerala the, lo the courses will be happening on this location of Kerala okay next is the selection process first stage of selection is shortlisting and in shortlisting the BE BTEC students uh, their CGPA will be normalized based on some normal, uh, normalizing methodologies or algorithms they have actually uh, given the link of that algorithm uh, that they are following so it will be normalized and then the mark will be taken okay for all the uh, other categories that is MBA, MCA for all these categories all semester marks will be taken up to pre-final year okay so this is this is the selection or the shortlisting method they are following and up to eight 8,300 candidates will be shortlisted for SSB interview. All these things they have mentioned in the notification itself. Okay. So first stage is shortlisting. Uh, after shortlisting, 8,300 candidates will be shortlisted and will be called for the interview. Okay. Next is the SSB interview, which is the second stage and the last stage of selection. Anyway, after this SSB interview, there will be medical examinations also. Okay. You have to all also pass this medical examination to get selected. So, second stage is SSB interview. The locations in which the SSB interviews will be conducted are Bangalore, Popal, Vishagapatnam, and Kolkata. So, these are the locations of SSB interview. Okay, next. The interview will be from February, February 21 onwards. Okay, all these things I have mentioned. Uh, tentatively, it will be from February 21 onwards. So, and also they have mentioned that for the pilot and observer category of recruitments, the SSB interview will be at Bangalore location only. Okay, next, let us see the SSB procedure. So, next is the SSB procedure. So, SSB procedure consists of two stages. Stage one is consisting of these all things, that is intelligence test, picture perception and discussion test. So, intelligence test is actually a, uh, test in which your intelligence will be examined so there will be some puzzles that sort of questions will be given to you and you have to answer uh, based on your what you think about that situation and all picture perception means some images will be shown to you what you can understand from this image you have to discuss about those things okay and discussion test these all things are kept in stage one for the stage two there will be psychological testing group testing and interview so there will be group discussions and interviews also okay so all those things they are keeping in stage two of selection so all these things is comprising of your ssb selection okay so this is the ssb procedure 
I hope it is clear. Also, they have mentioned certain things regarding the instructions that you have to follow while attending SSB. That is what all documents you have to carry, at what time you have to uh, report, all those things they have mentioned. So the reporting time, they will be actually mentioning in your call letter only. Okay, But some instructions you have to follow while attending the SSB interview that they have mentioned in the site. That is, if you see the Indian Navy website, there is a link or an icon called join Indian Navy and in that if you drop down you will see a link called ways to join and there if you select officers you will get the instruction for SSB okay so let us see the instructions for SSB you can also see the instructions on screen okay so let us see the instructions one by one so if you are going to attend SSB, you have to report at the railway station at the given time. So the time they will be mentioning in your call letter. If you are being called for SSB, that is if you are getting shortlisted, then you will get a call letter from uh, Indian Navy. And then in that call letter, they will be mentioning the time for reporting. Okay, So you have to report at the given railway station at the exact time. And you will be uh, assisted by an officer from SSB and also they have mentioned that if you are attending the SSB test or the SSB interview for the first time then your travel fare for rail will be provided uh, by the Indian Navy okay so these two things they have mentioned so these two things they have mentioned uh, in the beginning itself and after that they have uh, also said about the certificates that you have to carry while attending SSB drive or SSB interview so the first certificate is your original metric that is 10th certificate, B, B Tech degree certificate and mark sheet. Okay, all these things you have to carry in original. Then your 10 passport size unattested photographs that is passport size photographs, 10 numbers unattested. Okay, then one pair of white PT shoes, two pair of white socks, white shorts white t-shirt and two pair of formal trousers and shirts which should be in sober color okay so all these things they have mentioned this is actually the uniform that you have to maintain while attending the ssb interview okay so this is applicable for all the candidates next you should also take a printout of the call letter which you are receiving you have to carry that also and also again in addition to all these things you should carry a risk certificate and you will be getting this, the format of the risk certificate uh, in the website itself. So you have to sign the risk certificate by your parent so or your guardian. Okay. So this risk certificate is stating that while attending the SSB interview, if you are facing some risk or some uh, troubles, then you won't get, your, you cannot claim any compensation. Okay. So that is why they are actually uh, keeping this risk certificate. Okay. Anyway, you can see all these things or all the instructions in website. I'll be sharing the link of this instruction in description also. Okay, you can read it out and you can understand all the things. And also they have mentioned that the change of SSB venues or locations cannot be possible. Okay, that is, it is not possible. And uh, we have already discussed which are locations they are actually going to uh, keep the SSB interviews for this recruitment. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding the SSB interview procedure or the location or anything, you can actually mail to our given mail ID. You can find the mail ID in this website that is in the instruction page towards the down. Towards the end, you can see the mail ID also. Okay. And also after this SSB interview, there will be medical examination. Only if you clear the medical examination, based on all these uh, selection steps or stages mark, they are actually making a final merit list. Okay. So this is the selection process for Indian Navy SSC recruitments. So in this video, we have discussed about the selection process of Indian Navy. We have discussed what are the various courses they are offering, what is the place of posting, then what is the selection procedure. We have seen regarding the two stages of selection that is shortlisting and SSB interview. And also after that, there is medical examination also. Okay. So we have discussed more in detail about SSB what all things are going to happen in SSB and what all instructions you have to follow, what all documents you have to carry for uh, SSB. So all these things we have seen in this video. A lot of people was actually 
telling about making a video on this selection process. So I'm really hoping that I could answer mostly all the doubts for this uh, recruitment or regarding this recruitment. Okay, so if you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share it with all your friends who is going to attend the SSB recruitment or who is going to apply for this recruitment. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.